I need to take dietary supplements? Supplements are basically alternatives to food. So if you can't get enough uh, vitamin A or vitamin B or vitamin C, you're going to be taking a supplement. Alright, so dietary supplements are really not needed. In my opinion, I take supplements, but I only take so many. So I only take protein. I used to take creatine. But really, you don't need dietary supplements um, to, get, to build muscle, to burn fat. You don't need that. Really, you gotta take, um, you don't wanna take anything. You really just have to have a basic diet, um, a standard routine in your workout, so about four to five times a week you're working out, and as long as you're eating healthy, you're gonna lose fat, you're gonna build muscle, you're gonna do all those good things. So supplements aren't really needed whatsoever. Supplements that I do recommend using though are BCAs, are protein, and maybe creatine as well. Uh, you don't necessarily need creatine because it does hold on to a lot of water weight. It depends what you're trying to do. For me, when I'm trying to build muscle, I am going to be using creatine. I always use protein because, for instance, um, I do the anabolic window thing, which means uh, within an hour after your workout, uh, you should try to get as much uh, nutrients into your muscles as soon as possible because that's when they're most vulnerable, when they absorb the most uh, nutrients. So that's why I take a protein shake right after my workout. But that's really the number one um, uh, protein, sorry, um, uh, supplement that I use um, all around when I'm bulking and when I'm cutting. But when I'm bulking up, when I'm trying to build some mass, I'm going to be using creatine before my workout, about 30 to 45 minutes before. Um, it is going to allow you to lift heavier, but it's not necessarily a guarantee. You still got to put the work in. It doesn't just make you lift heavy. It makes you be more hyped in a way to lift heavier weights, um, from my personal experience. And uh, for BCAs, I use more so when I'm cutting down because it helps with cardio. It allows you to do more cardio pretty much. Um, you have more energy for cardio. Um, because what it really is is a bunch of amino acids that you could get from food. Right, so all of this you can get from food. Protein you can get from meat, amino acids you get from meat, amino acids you get from really anything. Um, creatine you can also get from meat. Uh, it's a little bit harder to get creatine from meat because you'd have to eat like, I believe it was 10 pounds of meat to get 5 grams of creatine. So if you're eating 10 pounds of meat, say bye to your heart. <laughs> but really, um, you do not need supplements to build that mass, to cut down, to get those um, sick abs, those, that six pack. Um, really, all you need to do is get a well balanced diet, work out once I set, once a, as I just said, four to five times a week. And really, guys, um, the only ones I'd say is protein, BCAs, um, and creatine. I could recommend um, other ones like, like for me, I don't recommend uh, pre workout because pre workout, all it is is, for my opinion, again, is a a bunch of um, a bunch of caffeine, really. And for some people, uh, pre workouts don't even work well or work too much. Like for me personally, when I take pre workout, I can't sleep for like two, three days almost. And I mean, it's just not helpful, right? You could you feel a little bit more height, but is it really worth not getting about two to three times of sleep? And for some people, since it doesn't even work, you're really just wasting your money. You're just buying a product that's not going to work for you. So really, if you're going to buy supplements, only thing you really need, I'd say, is protein. Um, secondary, creatine. Thirdly, BCAs. You don't necessarily need BCAs, but that's one that I recommend. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, once again, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get aesthetic.